Hey everybody, welcome to the garden. I hope you're having a great day. Shout out to the lemon and lime lovers and everybody in between. It's time for a crypto highlight video. And if you're interested in any of the services I provide, please check out the links in the description below for the Patreon and Discord. Okay, guys, so I was recommended to look at Binance Coin, BNB, and <clears throat> it's not surprising why we all know what's going on in the news. Uh, again, I'm not going to go over that. I don't know what the truth is and what it's not. We're just going to go over the technicals. And, you know, in the end, I hope everything is okay where no one really gets hurt. But let's look at the chart, see what that's telling us. So BNB, uh, from the monthly chart, as we can see, had a very nice long consolidation time, okay? Trading between $8, going to $40, $20, and then having that nice boom up in 2021, reaching almost $800. I think we're at, what, 700 plus, or just at 700, actually, and then having a nice retracement down. Now, uh, assuming this asset's healthy and we're not going to have anything unforeseen fundamentally with the Binance Exchange, what we're likely seeing is a massive retracement down. Now, what's common with a lot of these altcoins is what? You tend to have 80 to 90% retracements from their all-time highs. Now, from where we're at now from the all-time high, how much have we retraced percentage-wise? So from 691.8 down to where we are now, we've retraced just just over 60%. We're at 64.41% currently, and at the very low, we broke down to 73.32%. Now, that's a pretty steep, deep drop, but it is not, it's not as deep as you would expect from all coins, and if it's going to follow the same play, the same roadmap as many of these other altcoins have in the past, we should see a retracement much farther down going towards $70, potentially even $40 to $50. And I don't find it to be very coincidental that not only is that a level where it's a huge imbalance on the monthly, it's also a bullish fair value gap zone and we've already seen price interact with it. So from the low here at 47.2 to the high, of this bullish fair value gap zone, which is at 209.1. We're looking at a massive zone of liquidity where price on the monthly is already tapped into it. And looking at this monthly candle now, we are likely to see continuation over the coming months lower into this zone. And whether we retrace all the way down towards the 40s, towards 50, we'll give it some time. But I do see us coming into this level, trading, trading it up for significant amount of time over these next coming months so watch for sub 200 dollar binance coin going down towards potentially even 100 and lower so we're going to keep this on the monthly uh monthly uh, uh chart and then we're going to go down to the weekly let's take a look at what we're seeing on the weekly and right and actually before i do there is another trend line here we want to look at on the monthly so from the low of this wick right here so this candle here that happened in may 2021 connected to the low of this wick right here let's see what it looks like going out into the future so this is a trend line you can potentially follow through if you're gonna follow uh as time goes on if you're gonna see binance coin sort of rather than break down uh, trade down so something like this and if you do have a bullish consolidation on the monthly uh, it could look like something like this like a descending wedge structure so if it's happening on top of this descending trend line that may be your signal to look for a bullish entry longer term okay so for right right now i do have somewhat of a bullish bias on this uh, on the monthly but i am looking for more downside sub 200 potentially even sub 100 all right now let's go down to the weekly see if we see anything else and let's change this trend line color to red so we know it's off of the monthly time frame all right there we go and now let's go to the weekly and here we are okay so here's the weekly so weekly looks pretty good had a nice little pop up from that monthly low so we see the wick from that monthly trend line into this bullish fair value gap on the monthly time frame traded up into this bullish fair value gap spike through it a couple times with the with uh, this candle here through this wick here and then these two wicks right here so that bearish fair value gap right here at 353 the high was filled and then we even got a tap from this weekly wick all the way up towards 380 because this was also a bearish fair value gap zone so a lot of this imbalance was filled now we didn't get we didn't get actual candle closures above it but we did at least tap into that liquidity and then sell off from there 
And to me, from what I'm seeing here, it looks likely to have continuation at least back down towards this fair, fair value gap zone and most likely back down towards that monthly descending trend line, okay? So I don't think I really need to add anything else uh, on the weekly chart. It looks pretty clear cut. We could add this, this weekly high to this weekly high, you know, connect the trend line like that. Let's do that. And you may, you know, it may have information that you may find valuable. But again, I don't see this playing a role anytime soon. But you know, for to be thorough, let's keep it on on the uh, on the chart actually. So we'll connect this uh, via via the monthly high uh, swing highs here, and we'll make it a black line so we know it's off the uh, the weekly time frame here. So you know, this looks more like what a a a descending triangle structure here. Okay, so if you're connecting the monthly descending trend line with this, these weekly swing pivots, these high pivots, swing highs, uh, it looks like a monthly structure, but look how large it is. So that means you have a massive amount of time before you get to any point where it's likely that you're going to see some decision being made, whether that's a breakdown or break up. And that makes sense because we're also looking at it from the monthly time frame. So there's a lot of time for these this to get filled out if this is going to actually validate. Okay, now let's go down to the weekly, see if there's anything more short term that we can eye. So, uh, sorry, down to the daily, not weekly. So down to the daily here, uh, I mean, clearly we've, we've already lost uh, uh, this consolidation here, broke down um, pretty cleanly, came back up, tested the low of this, of this swing low, uh, and which is the actual breakdown of this consolidation. So let's actually start marking this here, just so it's a little clear. So right here's the lows of this daily consolidation that was lost right here, broke back up, then break down and then we, we're now currently testing that level as we speak right here so came into it and now are failing off of it we'll see how this daily uh daily candle closes but clearly this is bearish and just a it just indicates more continuation to the downside so we're seeing the same theme here over and over it's all about continuation to the downside with bnb now it's it's going to try and hold this level and potentially try and hold the top zone of this bullish fair value gap and the attempt to try and make the higher low from this low here but the probabilities do suggest that we are going to come back down to the monthly swing uh, the monthly trend line here which then gives the opportunity of a swing failure pattern which is actually pretty bullish because you're grabbing the liquidity under this level okay you're grabbing liquidity under this level holding this major line of, of support and trading in this bullish fair value gap you're holding this level and then what you're going to do you're likely going to pop up after grabbing the liquidity under here and then looking to fill out any imbalance on the way down so we have a little bit here we have an imbalance uh you know slightly up here at the top here we have this very very small fair, uh bearish fair value gap right here okay very very small and we have, I think I might be seeing one more as well, another very small one, unless my eyes are tricking me. Yeah, very, very small, okay? Now, we may get larger ones if we break down from here, we may get a larger imbalance with much more, uh, much more larger uh, uh, fair value gaps to target for a, 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 a swing up, but I would be looking for personally any breakdown to potentially try and target the monthly level here Again, not financial advice, just my opinion, what I'd be doing if I was trading, and I'm not trading it currently, okay? So just saying that in, uh, right now. Uh, other than that, I'm not really seeing much more information here. Uh, we do have a couple trend lines we want to watch out for, because currently we are trading on this level right here. So there's a trend line right here. We'll make this level, this black, uh, this blue as well, yep. Okay, and we can actually get rid of this here because we don't really need to have that there. We know that we've lost this consolidation, but we are tapping the low ends of these wicks. And as you can see, price has over and over respected this, this, this zone here. And we currently are trading around that as well. So if we go into a consolidation here that has a bearish bias, and one of the ways you can see that is if you start veering up sort of like this, and it would not be surprising you start tapping into these smaller fair value gap zones. Maybe not this one all the way up here, but potentially the lower one here. Then the probabilities of you breaking down increase dramatically because you're likely building out a larger bearish flag or a, a rising wedge. A bearish structure is likely being built out. And as you reach this level, you break down. And this structure is giving you the fuel to break under this support zone that's held for so long, right? See how powerful this has been over months, really over a year. So you're going to need a nice consolidation 
to get that fuel to break under that and grab all the liquidity under here you're gonna have to come pretty deep and that makes this potential uh, uh roadmap of a swing failure pattern coming here making a lot of sense all right this this is likely going to take some time and again not financial advice i'm not telling you to take any trades just giving you my thoughts if you do take trades it's you have your own volition and you know your risk don't risk more than you can afford to lose yada 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 you understand that um, I'm just, you know, giving you what what uh, what I'm seeing as I was recommended to look at this. So Binance has potential here for more downside, and then as you reach this level around 160 ish, look for potential uh, upside. And depending on how price drops, how dramatically, uh, will de define what kind of retracement up you can look for. You can likely uh, uh, get, uh, but on a, a weekly and monthly time frame, it's very clear in my opinion. Now you will eventually find more downside and potentially go under a hundred dollars. Okay, um, and that is it. That is it for Binance, guys. Uh, and forewarning with Binance, you know, if if something does happen to the exchange, um, you know, again, not gonna speculate, but if anything does happen, obviously, you know, BNB is gonna be heavily affected. And no matter what I, you know, what no matter the lines I draw here, no matter my thoughts, that will uh, that will completely change the uh the picture we're seeing so be very very careful uh you know when you're investing and trading no matter the asset but especially uh binance as you know you know the current uh, environment we're in okay all right everyone thank you so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the content if you did please give me a like subscribe maybe a share or two uh definitely leave a comment let me know how i'm doing let me know what i can be better at and if you haven't joined the Discord, make sure to join the Discord. The link is in the description below. It's a totally free room, and there's plenty of great people in there. I'm in there, and a lot of other traders are in there from every level, novice to expert. And uh, we're as welcoming and chill as you can possibly imagine. And remember, be patient, be vigilant, and be nimble.